Let's start this video off with perhaps his smoothest slide of last year, a triple down the right field line off of burgeoning superstar pitcher Hunter Green. The play wasn't close, but Trey still slid in feet first with a smoothness most players can only dream of. The same is true of this next play, on which Bryce Harper showed off his extremely strong arm on a one-hop strike to the plate, only to see Turner easily blaze past the tag of catcher JT Vilmuto to score on what definitely should have been a closer play. Now we go all the way back to 2016, when he was first with the Nats, scoring from third base on a pickoff to first, registering his only career steal of home so far. Here comes former Nat superstar Anthony Rendon with the line drive to left field that Turner scored the walk-off run on versus the Marlins on another play that looked as casual as a day at the beach, even if it was in the most pressured of situations. Here, Turner is seen getting the rare triple down the left field line on a ball that rattled around the wall in the corner. Jeremy Hazelbaker made a nice relay throw in, but Turner easily glided in a third, feet first with a three-bagger. Here he is now, stealing second on a pickoff throw, an outright two, as the toss from Will Myers wasn't even a bad one. This is a great example of how he uses his speed to glide further while sliding, giving him more time on the ground and making him harder to tag. This can be seen here again on another hit by Rendon, this time versus the D-backs, which presents our closest play of the video so far, with this perfect one-hop throw by David Peralta essentially being wasted by Turner's speed. How about an inside the park home run, as Turner used his 99 percentile wheels to easily round the bases here, losing his helmet in the process, but punctuating the play with that smooth glide across the plate. Here's both our first Phillies play and fielding play of the entire video. As Turner ranged in the left field to try to grab a fly ball off the bat of Oswaldo Cabrera, making the play at second relatively close. That trademark smoothness doesn't stop on the bases. Here he is scoring from first base on what would have been a single for many players, though Brian Goodwin himself has decent speed. Turner did commit the cardinal sin of looking at the throw instead of racing for the plate, but with wheels like that, it didn't matter much. Here's another line drive to left field that was played somewhat poorly by Matt Duffy. This perhaps though allowed us to get a better shot of just how smooth Turner's feet for a slide can be. Here's Trey's first offensive slide highlight for the Phillies, on a sun-assisted triple down the right field line. Even if this season might not be all the Phillies have hoped for, it's good to know he still has that glide to his game on the bases. Here's somehow our first example of Turner stealing third base, this time keeping his eye on the catcher for the last leg of his journey while sliding head first. He didn't do that on the next one, which ended up being reviewed, though he would still be safe. Look at how early he started his slide, and how far he ended up gliding. That's absolutely nuts. And here's our second and last fielding play of the entire video. Trey Turner ranging up the middle to make a sliding stop in center field, and then throw out the extremely fast Alec Thomas all in one beautiful motion. Here we have our second triple down the left field line of the video, this time with Alcides Escobar scoring from first. Turner literally got in a third almost as fast as Escobar scored, and Escobar had decent speed. And now we come to our final play of the video, this time once again with the Dodgers on a fly ball to left field that Max Muncy got an RBI double on. Somehow, despite all the smooth plays we've seen so far, this may have been the smoothest one. Now, thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this, and check out this playlist for every video I've released of this type. Have a great day.